Your time starts now. All right, chefs. Today you'll be cooking for us ground beef, Irish cheese, sweet potatoes, and cold brew coffee. Chefs, your time starts. Oh, go back. Get back there. <laughs> now. To me, this basket just screams meatballs. When I see the sweet potatoes, I know I have to start those right away because they'll take the longest to cook, so I throw them in the water first. After I have the potatoes in the water, I'm definitely going to start thinking about my strategy because I'm not quite sure what I want to do yet. Now this Irish cheese, it's actually just a sharp cheddar that's been aged for about two years. Um, it should be pretty good. It's got a strong flavor though, as you might expect. There's not much you can do with ground beef. So after some consideration, I decided to make a meatball with the ground beef and stuff that meatball with some of the Irish cheese. It looks like she's looking for the breadcrumbs to go with that ground beef. Uh, she could be making like a meatloaf or a meatball. The ground beef too, it's a little higher fat percentage. It's an 80% lean, 20% fat. It's good for some dishes, but could be a little tricky to cook with others. I've never made a meatball before, but I know the basic components. So I just grab an onion, the breadcrumbs, and an egg and some garlic powder for seasoning and I just throw them all together. It looks more and more like we're gonna get a meatball along with mashed sweet potato. Uh, what she does with the cold brew, that remains to be seen if she remembers it at all. Five minutes down, looks like she's making good progress. There were very few breadcrumbs left in the pantry, so I was really worried that it wouldn't bind the meatballs together correctly. But I took a risk anyway and I microwaved a little bit of it and it was delicious. So I cut the cheese into little cubes to put them into my meatballs. It looks like Chef Susan is cutting up this Irish cheddar into small little cubes. Could she be planning to stuff the meatballs with a bit of this cheese? Um, I sure hope so. The inspiration for this dish comes from the God of Cookery, where they had beef balls that they stuffed with pissing shrimp so I stuffed these beef balls with cheese instead. Now, Chef Susan is about halfway through her time. Uh, she still has quite a bit to do though. She has to bake her meatballs, which are extra thick because of the cheese. Uh, she's got to do something with her boiled sweet potatoes. Uh, and she's gonna have to make potentially a sauce with the cold brew coffee. Uh, it's extra strong, it's unsweetened, and it's gonna be very bitter. It could be a tough flavor to incorporate. Fifteen minutes, chefs. I know I needed only like fifteen minutes to bake the meatballs, so that wasn't a worry of mine. I figure with the potatoes, I can use it to make like puree on the bottom to have a bed for my meatballs. Chef Susan's now pulled out a mixed green salad from the fridge, uh, along with some balsamic vinegar, which she's added her cold brew coffee to. It looks like we're going to get a vinaigrette and a side salad now as well. I still needed a green component though, so I was like rushing into the pantry to see what was available and I saw salad, so I just went for it. 10 minute warning, chefs. I checked on my sweet potatoes and they're still raw in the middle. So I was starting to get a little panicked on that. When I make a salad from a salad bar, I always add some eggs. It looks like she's gonna give us a hard boiled egg in our salad as well. So now we've got a side salad with a vinaigrette with the cold brew. We've got a hard boiled egg. We've got potentially mashed sweet potatoes um, and then a side of meatballs. It'll be interesting to see how this all comes together. It's the second time now that she's increased the temperature of the oven. We see that she's moved to the more powerful burner as well for the potatoes. I think Chef Susan's feeling a little bit in the weeds. But well, we've also just seen her pull out a blender. So could she be making a second sauce?
I keep on waiting for the potatoes to cook, and as I wait, I just think of more and more ideas. So I was like, oh, why not just roast some pecans to like throw on top of the salad? Only five minutes left, chefs. Get everything on the plate. So we're seeing the salad plated. Um, that at least will incorporate the cold brew coffee. Uh, the cheese, the ground beef, still in the oven. The sweet potatoes, still on the pot. Uh, it's gonna be another one that's right down to the wire. I have like no time left. I had to take the potatoes out of the oven and it was burning hot. So I was just trying to rip off the skin as fast as I could to throw them in the blender to puree it. Two minutes left, chef. For the love of God, put something on the plate. It's definitely not how I envision my puree. 45 seconds, chef. I took the meatballs out of the oven and a lot of the cheese has leaked out, so I'm glad I incorporated that into the salad so that it's actually on the plate. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hands up. I did not care for those ingredients. I think my flavors are there. Chef, today I've made for you a Irish cheese stuffed meatballs on top of a sweet potato puree with a side mixed green salad. Enjoy. I think it looks very nice. I like that you brought something fresh to the plate. Um, I like the colors that you've added. I do wish there was a more substantial portion of the sweet potatoes because it does look more like, almost like a garnish with the amount that you've given us. Did you have some trouble with them? Part of the sweet potato didn't get cooked through, so I only used the parts that were cooked through enough that I felt comfortable with using. And I can respect that. What's the sweetness in this mixed green salad? So the mixed green salad, I put a, a white peach balsamic vinaigrette on top with some of that cold brew coffee added in. The cold brew adds a touch of the bitterness to the vinaigrette. I think you did do a great job of masking that bitterness of the of the mixed greens. Um, I do really like that peach balsamic vinegar. To me, it gives like a, an apple -y sort of sweetness to it. And yeah, I get none of the bitter. The cheddar is a bit unwelcome though. Um, I'm not sure if that quite works. I think if you had brought those other components into the salad, um, the roasted pecans, I saw the egg did make to the plate, I think that might have helped tie these flavors together a little bit because at the moment it's, it's quite sweet. It's not an overpowering sweetness, but it's sweet. Um, and then there's, there's that, that sharp cheddar flavor, which doesn't, which doesn't quite mix well. I think the salad was delicious with just the cheddar. And there are many places that just do that. But I do enjoy the salad quite a bit. What did you think when you tried your sample of the meatball? Uh, when I microwaved a little bit of the meatball to try it to make sure the flavor was good, I thought it was delicious. And I think you were correct. It is a delicious meatball. It's very tender, it's very moist. Uh, the flavor is excellent. You got a bit of crispiness on the exterior. Is there a reason you wanted it paired with the sweet potatoes? Uh, no particular reason other than it was a basket ingredient and I thought, why not? Your meatball mix, I think, is very good. When I had one meatball where the cheese leaked out, I thought it was excellent. When I ate the meatball with the sweet potatoes, that did not go well together. The mashed sweet potatoes are unseasoned. There's a bit of like uh, uncooked pieces that are still in there with it. And I don't think that pairs well with the meatball itself. One of my meatballs had uh, a good amount of that sharp cheddar in it. And I don't know if that quite went with it either. I like the idea of a cheese filled meatball. I'm not sure sharp cheddar is the one to use. Cheddar is the most delicious cheese. And I feel like if the judge hates it so much, the actual flavor that he should not have put it in the basket. Have you made mashed potatoes before? I've made mashed potatoes, yes. Not mashed sweet potatoes. Didn't want to do too much with the sweet potato because it's naturally sweet and I thought that'd be a good counterbalance to the salty meatball. 
I've proven thus far that I'm more with the natural flavors of the ingredients, that I want to bring those out and let it shine. Each individually does taste good. I do wish you had seasoned the sweet potatoes a little bit. I think they do need salt. I'm ready to make my judgment. For presentation, I did love the way it looked. I liked the light sear on the meatball. I liked the color of the sweet potatoes. I liked the, the way the salad looked. Um, I do just wish you had given us more of the sweet potatoes because it does just almost look like a garnish. There was so little of it there. So for presentation, I give you a four out of five. For taste, as I said, I liked, I liked the sweet potatoes by itself. I liked the meatball by itself. Not so much the ones that still held the cheese. The salad, I like that it was there. I think it could have used those roasted pecans. I saw you trying to go for croutons. I saw you trying to go for a hard boiled egg. I do think it needed that. It was, it was very lackluster is what it was. And I don't think the shredded sharp cheddar complemented it well. The sweet potatoes, despite your, your personal philosophies, I think it did need salt and pepper to stand up uh, just to, just to complement the, the meatball at all. Cause it was very much at odds. I think we can forever agree to disagree. But I did love the framework of what you had, and I would eat those meatballs any day of the week, uh, exactly as they are. So for taste, I give you three out of five. For creativity, I did like that you used the cheddar two ways. Um, I like the way that you transformed all of the ingredients except the cold brew. The cold brew, as you know, the flavor of that did not come through at all, and I don't think you would want it to when you were adding a bitter coffee to bitter greens. I think that you tried to hide, and I saw you added maybe a teaspoon of it to your dressing. But you had a lot going on. You went for a lot. Um, you pushed it down to the wire, past the wire, and that you weren't able to get everything you wanted onto the plate. Uh, and for that, I commend you. And for creativity, you were in a four out of five. And Chef Susan, that is once again a victory.